Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to be showing you how to create your custom home screen on the Range Rover Velar screen. This way you'll be able to add your widgets that you use most often and every time you hit the home button on the Velar screen it will take you to your custom page. So let's just get straight into it. guys so you can see here this is currently my new custom home page it's called my home one just there on the top right so I've added a few widgets on the left hand side a few on the right hand side and a big clock in the middle so I'm going to show you how to do that if you've got the default screen you can probably swipe left and you've got an option to create a custom page but if you already have one and you want to add another one you just hold anywhere you've got a little timer that does that and then uh, it will open up this option here and then you'll see that little plus icon on the left hand side so that will allow you to create a new home screen so now you have various different panels here to add content to so if I just tap the uh, top left one it gives me a large selection of the most common features on the last screen so this also depends if you have the navigation inbuilt or you have more options like the TV and, and that kind of stuff so if for example I go in and you know maybe I like to add let's say the television option I select that and the TV option comes there and this also gives you a little arrow to drag the uh, little widget to wherever you'd like to so maybe I like watching TV all the time in my car and I put it right there in the middle go back onto another empty square add some more options maybe I want to adjust the ambient lighting so I'll have the ambient lighting there as well and then maybe I want to add a nice little clock and I can do that on the right hand side maybe go to more options and then all of the ones that you can see that you like to use the most often then you can also add that as well so themes I've added as well just so I can change it between dark and light or leave it on auto and that can be placed anywhere you like so I'm just going to quickly add a few more just to give you some examples to fill up the space let's say cameras and then lastly let's go to maybe a mini media player Okay, so the media player you need more space for, so you can actually delete any and drag them down. Let's go back. And then let's do maybe yeah, AM, FM radio. So there you have it. That's your custom uh, home screen. You just uh, hit return here and it will save it. Now, if you want to set that as your default one, then all you have to do is go into settings, home settings, and then at the top you have default home. You change that and you can select which one you want. So I have this one selected at the moment, so I'll go back to that. But also there's an option to change the wallpaper in the background. So there's some various options. There's not like a huge selection, but these are dependent on the theme you've got running in your car. So you have different wallpapers for light theme and dark themes. So I've selected this red looking one, click on home, and that's how it looks there, which I think is pretty nice. So I'll probably just keep it like that. So that's about it guys, I hope that was useful. If you have any questions and if you'd like to know anything else on the Rage of the Velar screen on how to do certain things, then uh, by all means drop a comment below. Otherwise I hope you subscribe, I hope you like this video. I've got a lot more Velar tips and tricks coming up very soon and I know you're going to like them. Until next time, take care.